Hey guys, I'm back again, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use shortcuts and preferences on this app. So when you're at the main page, click here to open up preferences. Then click on preferences to open up this menu. Here you get to control things like shortcuts, adjusting your pen connection, and also readjusting settings to default. Now I want to show you what tooltips look like when you enable them. Going back to the main screen, say for example, you click on the ruler guide function. A pop-up appears at the bottom of your screen showing you instructions on how to use that function. Now say we click on the transform function. Another pop-up appears at the bottom of your screen which teaches you what to do. Going back to preferences, now I'm going to turn off tooltips. See that the pop-up instructions don't appear anymore when I click on those functions. Now coming back here, when you enable this, it lets you tap and hold your finger on the screen to get the color picker. This is your color picker. So what you do is you drag the color picker onto your desired area to pick the color. Coming back to preferences, when we enable rotate canvas, it lets us rotate the canvas using our two fingers. When it's disabled, we can only zoom in and out of our canvas, but not rotate it. Coming back to preferences, you can customize your four corner double tapping shortcuts here. For things like undo, redo, clear layer. And right now I'm just gonna leave them at default. Say I wanna undo that last stroke, I just double tap on the bottom left corner of the screen and bottom right corner to redo the stroke. and clear that layer by tapping on the top left corner. To return your canvas to its original position and size, double tap on the top right corner. This is what frame canvas mean. There's also a three finger tap function which lets you get to full screen when you tap on the screen with three fingers. Besides tapping shortcuts, we also have finger swipe shortcuts which you can customize under preferences. So instead of tapping, you swipe three fingers on the screen for the shortcuts. Assuming I leave them at default, you swipe three fingers to the left to undo and swipe to the right to redo. Swipe up to access the color wheel and swipe down to access your brush library. Now, at the bottom center of your canvas, there's this tiny little white circle that gives you access to five other shortcuts. Press this to flip your canvas. And 
this to hide or show your double puck. And this is your color picker. And this to pick transparent color. And this last one is for you to go back to the previous brush that you used, which in this case is the blend tool. Now let's see what happens when we disable the pen mode. You can see that I'm able to draw with both the pen and with my finger. Now what happens when I enable pen mode? If pen mode is activated, I could only draw using the pen and not with my finger. This is helpful when you don't want your fingers accidentally creating strokes on your canvas when you're drawing with your pen. Multi-touch gesture function is automatically turned on when the pen mode is activated, meaning we won't be able to do the three finger swipe shortcuts when the pen mode is turned off. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video.